Hello and welcome to the screencast where we are going to be talking about uh, developer notes. So there's a lot to remember when you enter the world of software development and as you grow and learn more about how to develop your applications, the languages that you need to learn, you have to remember how to write your methods, your functions, how to set up your database, how to deploy your application, how to connect to APIs, and of course the list goes on, right? While a lot of this will become muscle memory at some point, if you're like me, you are going to need a reliable and efficient way to take notes for your personal reference. It's hard to remember everything. I've read somewhere that the human brain is for thinking and not for storing information, and I think that's correct. This is one place where I see the point. When I was new to this field, I used to handwrite my notes most of the time because that's what I was used to. I really like, I do enjoy handwriting. When I journal, I just handwrite my journals. Uh, but this didn't work very well for, for my, uh, for taking notes, you know, when it came to web application developer because I had to, to write code and it wasn't efficient to do it with your hands. If you try it out, if you need to write a method, if you need to write a function, it takes a while. It's easier to just uh, do it electronically. Then I, so I started to email the notes to myself. Next, I began to use Google Docs. And then I moved on to uh, snip, snippets uh, provided by Bitbucket. And I'll show you the examples here. So these are the examples, Google Docs, GitHub Gists, Bitbucket snippets, but my favorite of all, the one that I wish I had known earlier on was VimWiki. This one was, uh, uh, it's, it's definitely my favorite, it's a savior. And that's the one I really uh, wanna share with you. Uh, I've, I, I've finally settled with it and I can take notes without having to use a mouse. I don't have to deal with a different interface. I don't have to be in my email to write notes or to be in uh, Google Docs to write notes. And I don't have to log into any application interface. I can just take down my notes while I'm still in uh, in the console. Now as a, beginner, as a beginner, you want to choose the best way to take notes. There's no one way to do it. It's like you just choose the most efficient way. And of course, you wanna try different ways. Uh, you know, I tried the handwriting, I noticed it didn't work. Uh, Google Docs um, is great. I use it for many different purposes of writing, but it didn't work for uh, taking down my notes, uh, my software and web development notes. So you wanna try as much as you can out, and then find what you like. Uh, what I like about VimWiki is I, I'm in the console, I'm using Vim, I don't have to reach out for a mouse, I write my notes, and all I have to do is uh, space bar and then hit WW and then I can start writing my notes. The WW takes me to my index, my notes index. And I will show you that right now. I'm sure you're curious as to where this thing is. So let me just close this. I'm just gonna close that. And then, uh, so here's, um, I'm in my terminal right now. I'm just gonna say, let me see what I have. LS is for list. I'm gonna list my my documents, see what's in there, and I'm gonna open up the screencast doc with uh with Vim. Once I open that up, you see there's nothing much in there. There's just it just says uh, developer notes. Now let's say I I have an idea. I have some notes that I want to take. All I have to do is W W. I mean to say spacebar. W W. So spacebar, WW, would take me to my wiki notes index. So you see there's a folder that says wiki and then uh, index.md. So this is the index of all my notes. And because I'm using Vim, I'm gonna uh, type in O to start a new line. And then I'm gonna start writing my notes. So, so let me just say new notes. Let me just say new notes. And then I'm gonna highlight this. Once I highlight it, I will hit enter to create the link. And then I'll hit enter again. And this will take me to the new links page. And then from here, I can start writing my notes. These, so because I have my 
my Vim wiki set up to write as a Markdown MD, I can use Markdown language to write my notes. So new notes. All right, so there is new notes and this, I have saved my notes. Now I can, to go back to my index page, I just go delete, which takes me back to here. And then let me show you uh, something helpful that will talk about Markdown and a blog that I wrote in January that talks a little more, gives you a little more detail on uh, what we're talking about here. So if you go to zambezi.app, you will see my notes in the articles. So if you click on articles and you go to developer notes, you will see my my blog on uh, note taking and tips and tricks on, on uh, how I started and how I ended up using VimWiki. And also here, this this last section here, this is my blog. This is what I use. I set my blog up to take Markdown also. So I have uh, VimWiki that I'm using presently and I use my blog also to write uh, longer blogs to share with everybody else. The The wiki is for really personal uh, personal growth uh, no, developer notes that I use. And to set it up, you just go to github.com and then uh, here's their website. Go to github.com film wiki slash film wiki and then they will walk you through on how to set it up you will see as you scroll down it says installation and there's three ways you could install it that they are showing you can use uh, vim packages pathogen or vandal any of these will install it for you you see and then it doesn't take long to, before you are done installing it if you have any questions or any comments please feel free to send your email to feedback at zambezi.app. Again, it's feedback at zambezi.app. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.